Joining me in the studio is peace activist and founding member of the Afghan Women's Network, uh, Power Shah Hassan. Thank you so much for your time. How worried are you about the lack of women at these peace talks? I think it's a, a big concern among women in Afghanistan. Uh, on one side, we are um, cautiously optimistic about the peace talk because it has never looked so close as it uh, do now. Uh, but I think what we want is a just peace where women and men of Afghanistan feel safe in the country and be an, as an equal citizen of the country. So uh, the fear that we have is because the rule the Taliban had in the country uh, just remind us of very bad uh, experience that women had in that time. Women were totally swept out from the public space. Uh, girls were not allowed to go to school. And we lost many years of our girls' education and women's work and public life as a human uh, in our country. I, uh, the, the motto that the women of Afghanistan, the activists, have today is that we don't go back. Uh, and that is uh, kind of like red line for us. Is anything being done to get women to the table? Well, um, at this point, unfortunately, uh, Afghans are not literally a part of the peace negotiation. It is, it's between Taliban and the U.S. Uh, envoy there. Uh, but I think it's very much important that Afghans have a face-to-face -face, uh, negotiation on the table with the Taliban, and a woman should be uh, a, a bigger part of this delegation because women has suffered a lot under Taliban, but also because of the 40 years of conflict in the country. And uh, women have been losers in the war. We really don't want women to be losers of the peace as well. And as you said, this is all happening against the backdrop of the Taliban regaining control in certain areas of Afghanistan. What is happening to the women and girls in that part of the country? Well, that's very unfortunate because uh, the message is being given as if Taliban are changed. Uh, I think uh, Taliban has greater chance because they are uh, in the country and if they want to prove, uh, they have to show and demonstrate that they really care for uh, changing their image, but also to respect women's rights and also uh, girls' rights in the country. Unfortunately, uh, for, unfortunately uh, girls' schools are still burned or exploded. Uh, women are lashed uh, through these informal courts that uh, in areas where Taliban are enforced. So this doesn't give a good message uh, of any change. Masuda Sultan, one of your fellow female peace activists, met with representatives of the Taliban on the sideline of a peace negotiations in Doha <coughs> in April. Uh, she said at the time the Taliban had told her that they were committed to allowing girls attend schools and for women to work. But do you believe that? I think words is not enough. <clears throat> uh, it should be demonstrated where people are uh, sitting there on the ground. Uh, those who are suffering under Taliban rule still in the country, that should be demonstrated to them. So it's important for me that women and girls feel safe uh, where the Taliban are in control, where they can still go to school. And these are a part of very basic Islamic rights the Taliban are talking about. So if that is not demonstrated, I will not trust that. Do you have any hope at all with these peace talks? I do. I, I think uh, the, the world, and I believe US is there, and uh, Afghans are ready than ever to be part of the peace negotiation. But uh, peace is not equivalent to whatever uh, is uh, agreed. We don't want a woman's right to be um, a part of the uh, sacrifice for uh, the peace talk. Uh, we want uh, to uh, Afghanistan finally to have a full stop to the war, uh, which is going for a generation now. And uh, some people of my generation, we didn't have a peaceful childhood to up to now. So we, we really never experienced a peace. We need more than ever peace, but that peace need to be inclusive, that peace should be felt in the home of every Afghan, because peace needs to be sustainable. And unless uh, women and men are ensured of their protection, uh, and the definition of peace really differs for different people. So it's not only just uh, a ceasefire, because ceasefire can be uh, reversed any time. But when a person feels really safe, uh, I, that is a normal life. Babashah Hassan.
It's been great speaking to you. Thank you. Same here. Thank you.